Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're trying out an experience called Jigsaw 360 and it's been developed by the developers who made this um, Breath Tech demo. I featured this um, demo a few months ago. Now there's no box at the moment. I don't have a box or a cartridge. The game's not out yet. So I'm just going to dive in and show you guys. Okay, here we are. Jigsaw 360. This game's coming to the Oculus Store and it's also coming to Steam. I'm going to have a look at the settings. Music, background image, background sounds, snap into place, restart. I'm going to try the tutorial. This is a 360 2D image all around me. Okay, tutorial. Grab the smaller sphere, rotate your hand to rotate the jigsaw and see different parts. Drag to a convenient position. Notice the background scene changes to match the rotation of the sphere. Okay, I'm inside a, a giant earth. This is a 2D screen, 2D picture. There's Britain. I feel like I'm still inside a giant hamster ball. Okay, grab the smallest one. All right, so I can move it around. And you can see the um, jigsaw pieces there, look. The bits that are missing. Drag to a convenient position. Okay. Point at a jigsaw piece in the tray below and grab it. And there we go. Release your grip, then grab the piece at a different point. So I can rotate the pieces in mid-air. That's pretty cool. Items close to your hand are grabbed without pointing at them. Place it in the jigsaw. Okay, so that goes in there. I can see this being a really relaxing type of experience. Two more pieces have been added to the tray below. Grab a jigsaw piece with each hand and carefully combine them at the correct angle. Okay, so this wants me to put them together which is pretty easy which is there then add them to the jigsaw that fits in there and this is pretty cool I can actually be inside I can put my head inside the jigsaw piece that's really interesting that's what I like about VR it's so interactive so immersive what other game can you stick your head into a, a jigsaw piece Drop pieces in the chutes to either side to return them to the tray or to automatically add them to the jigsaw. So it looks like I can put them in here, look. That returns the pieces back into here. Let me test it. Grab it. And this one puts it back into the... puts in the jigsaw. Okay, so if you get stuck, you, could, you simply put the um, pieces in there. Combined pieces that are returned to the tray will reassemble when they are next grabbed. Only two jigsaw portions can be taken from the tray at a time. Start with the straight edges. That's the straight edge. That goes in the top. And there we go. Jigsaw complete. Okay, now we know what we're doing, so let's start the game. Now you can select images from, um, there's a certain website you can go to. You can upload your own 360 images and you can turn them into jigsaw pieces. And then you can import them into this um, application. And so you can have like family photos, turn them into jigsaws. We've got Earth, the Guardian. Oh, emboss. Okay, emboss. That's the um, showdown. This is showdown. This is a screenshot from the showdown demo. I'm going to do this one. As you can see, there it says add more photos. Got sea lions. I'm going for emboss. 
select the number of jigsaw pieces so 8 18 32 50 72 98 128 so it scales to um, family members if you got younger people in your family who like doing jigsaws you can select eight pieces or I'm going to try with the 18 to start off with select the shape spherical or flat let's go for the spherical and there's my um, okay there's my jigsaw piece here are the pieces in front of me so I'm going to look for a piece with a flat edge which is one of these for I guess okay I'm trying to work out um, what part of the jigsaw this is that looks like is that part of the pavement it is okay so that piece goes in the bottom somewhere let's try here no that does not fit so I can spin that round oh it's got a flat piece there look how about there and there we go superb uh, another flat piece that's also part of the um, pavement so I'm going to spin this round is that the wrong way round? that looks like um, okay that's one of the uh, marks on the road so I'm going to try and I'm going to try and make the um, jigsaw puzzle the way I see it in this um, big image so that's suggesting to me does that go in there yep okay we've got this so I'm using this big image to help me build the jigsaw puzzle how cool is that right let's go for these 18 pieces one two three four five six seven eight nine 18 yeah so this is 18 pieces so everything I need is in here what piece is this that's the um, top of a building look that's up there somewhere was it this side it's that side look so that goes in here somewhere aha you can change all the um, sound effects as well this has got some really nice cultural music playing you can have like nat natural nature effects okay that goes in there somewhere I do believe not that one there I can see the uh, car started to, to form there well we've got another building piece there which will go in there another piece of the building and I need to turn that around it's got the uh, police car in over there a lot that fits nicely in there and if I want I can be inside the jigsaw put my head in it I do like how you can move this around so you can put it anywhere you want right we've got another shop piece here that's got the um, neon sign up there so that goes in there oh what happened to that try again there we go this is a really cool and interesting concept that goes in there I like how they um, just float into place as well what we've got next I have to admit this is a really relaxing okay that's behind me so I'm going to turn around this way bring that over here and as you can see it all becomes see-through so I can see through this part of the jigsaw which is pretty cool that's that car there okay so I guess you can make this a lot more easy or difficult to make it harder you don't look at the picture you just concentrate on the pieces or you can make it easy like I'm doing we all know when you buy one of those jigsaw puzzles the pictures on the box anyway so this is a very similar 
that's the uh, window exploding up there behind me so I'm going to stick that in there somewhere got that right that's that building there that's that window so okay it needs turning around look I had it upside down I mean I'm playing this game with the um, 360 tracking I've got a sensor here I've got a sensor here it does all my tracking I guess if you've only got the two sensors at the front you can simply play the jigsaw this way keep it in front of you all the time and just spin it around I think it's a lot more challenging with the um, two sensors as well because you're having to figure out where the where the pieces go right, that goes in there what's this piece here oh yeah the um, graphics are really nice it's nice crisp and sharp that's that building there okay only a few more pieces left that looks like a piece of the road it's upside down that goes in there yep slots into place we've got a flag which is there right in front of me so that goes in there three more pieces left And that goes in there so this is like a really good application if you've got um, family over having parties you know this is like really ideal for say you've got um, old people your grandparents this is probably something to show them in VR they probably have uh, some fun with it haha there we go you have earned 18 piece jigsaws in jigsaw 360 I've got an achievement Okay, I've earned a few achievements. Okay, I'm going to look at one of the more complicated jigsaw pieces. So, find a nice picture. Oh, that's a nice one. Underwater sea lions. Let's go for that. And we're going for 128 pieces. Just to see what it's like. Uh, I'm curious to see what the... Um, flat versions like as well okay so that's my that's a lot of pieces okay so this is a picture of the of what I can see behind me but it's all flat now I think I prefer the um, spherical one it's a lot more interesting so I'm going to go back to the main menu and change it to to the round one background sounds nature can I change this rain waves let's go for waves I'm doing an ocean one turn the music up I'm going to restart the app Try that one again, this time with the um, spherical sea lines 1 to 8. Okay. And as you can see, it's a lot more complicated now. I do like how the pieces dissolve. So, this is going to be quite challenging. And it'd be really, really good how you can add your own photos into the application. Okay, that's uh, an ocean piece, so that will go in here somewhere. If that fits, I'll be surprised. No, so it does go in here somewhere. So it's finding the right, finding the right place to put it. And there it goes, it slots into place. Okay, we've made a start. For those of you curious about the breath tech demo I mentioned, it uses your breath to um, solve puzzles. It's a really cool experience. Uh, I do believe, I don't know if it's free or not, I can't remember. 
But if you're interested in something really new and unique, then try out the um, BreathTech experience. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to continue to uh, make my jigsaw. This is really relaxing. Hello, there's a little guy there, a little, little sea lion. Just noticed him. Some divers over there. My only, um, if the um, developer is watching, it would be really nice if they can make this like a 3D picture. Can you imagine this is a 3D experience and then you're building the, the same 3D experience in this little world? I don't know how hard or easy that would be to do, but that's the um, something to think about, I guess. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Like I said, this is out in a few days. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, sea lions. Bye, mate.